Okay, the issue today is the chain tensioner. As you can see, uh, it fell into the spokes, locked the wheel up, ripped the fender off right here. Dang near killed me. I came to a slide and stop. And it's in. Um, one of the issues I think the, with the problem is, is that this thing here is chain tensioner is a piece of crap to begin with. Right. If I had my brothers, I'd have, you know, I'd buy one of them stretchy across ones right here. Them ones that bolt onto your frame and your frame, you know, the seat stay and the chain stay. Right. And comes across right here with a wheel where you can adjust up and down. If I had my brothers, I'd get one of those. They're like 40, 45 bucks. You know, poor old hillbilly asked me. He's saying I ain't got enough money right now. So, unfortunately, the red speeder bike has been sitting idle for the last month or so until I decided to come out here and found me a wheel on Amazon and he's saying because I can't find one at the local here comes the trash truck so hang on man Phoenix trash trucks run regular <laughs> Tuesday but anyways I you know at the local down at the local bike shop, I couldn't get one of these wheels, the 26 cents coaster brake single speed, because apparently everybody and their brother wants to have one. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't find one anywhere here local, so I had to do Amazon, and Amazon had a good one. You know what I'm saying? I found a guy that builds these bikes too, just like I do. Right? And he said this is the one he uses, he gave it five stars, so that's the one I bought. You know what I'm saying? I'll do, a, I'll do a video on it when I get it tomorrow. But anyways, as you can see, uh, the force of this was pretty catastrophic. It ripped two spokes clean out of the rim. You know, Sam, it's got the, if you look right here correctly, you can see where the two plates are off. So, I mean, there, there was just a centrifugal amount of, of torque here, right, when I came sliding to a grinding hot. As you can see, it damaged my little bracket right there a little bit. It's got the chain pulled way off. This thing is tight as hell. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do today is we're going to take it apart, we're going to get it ready, I'm going to take the wheel, all the gear and everything off, and get it ready for the next wheel tomorrow. So that's where we're standing right now. Okay, the tools you need for this gig are fairly simple. Right? You need a 14 millimeter, you need a 12 millimeter, you need a 10 millimeter, and you need a number two screwdriver. Right, for our setup here, because uh, one of the bolts, we had to replace one of the bolts early on. I got to have a 12 millimeter socket wrench to go with my 12 millimeter. Uh, vice grips are optional. You know, saying you never know when you're going to need a pair of vice grips. Right, so as you can see, right, I already took off the coaster brake bracket just to get it out of the way, and I got the fender, the mangled up old fender over there off. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to set up right here and we're going to go. Well, as you can see, I got it off finally. It's mangled up there the tension wheel a little bit pretty good as you seen earlier I was having a struggle with that one bolt well this is why it was a significant amount of damage was done here and this bolt got chewed up and messed up so I ended up having to break it off to get it out of there All right but as we stand right now I'm saying this will wrap right so next the next step is to take the wheel off and all that stuff and we'll go from there Okay, you saying it's, you want to be safety conscious here. You want to be safe first. You want to kill yourself. As you can see, I, I got even out my pedals and I put a bucket on that side and a milk crate on this side. I got the pedals on. I even went, even went ahead and <clears throat> tied the pedal onto the box. It didn't fall off. So you can, you know, you got good round ground clearance here. So now you can work. All right, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take the wheel off and we're going to go from there. All right, so I got to go get a 15 millimeter wrench. Hang on. Got my standard park tool here. All right, this is a universal tool. It's a good thing to have, and a 50 millimeter because we got to take off the rear wheel here. All right, this park makes a lot of cool ass tools for bicycles, and basically that's what this is: is a bicycle. So, take this baby off. You got two chains you got to deal with here, so you got to take this one off first, and then take the big main off. See, good ideas don't always work.
now. I think that's why the people sold the bike to the pawn shop. But look, the bearings are all wobbly and shot. We got two spokes out. That's in. The rim is seriously bent. Look at that. Uh, look at that puppy. Wee man. That thing wouldn't go. So we're gonna. So this wheel is basically shot. So the next step is I'm gonna take off the gear. Let's say I take the tire and the tube out, pitch this thing in the scrap bin, right? And then we're waiting for tomorrow to get the new one. Okay, here we go. You guys know the drill on this. If you put one of these together, you just take it apart the same way. Use a 10 millimeter and a 10 deep socket here for the back. You gotta be careful with what you're doing. All right, because you don't want to strip these plastic off. Because the nuts have them little plastic inserts on them. All right. They're only good for you know maybe one or two two applications here. Uh, so anyway, this is what you're doing. You want to be really careful. You can see it or not, but right inside here, there's a piece of the inner bearing. Cage bearing is broken, so this is this, this, uh, it's pretty gnarly, pretty wobbly. You know what I'm saying? You have a significant amount of wear on the two rubber, the two rag joints. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the bolts are toast. This was a catastrophic barrier here. But anyway, tomorrow we're going to get a new wheel. Here, let me back this out. Tomorrow we're going to get a new wheel. Let's see if we can put this new tire on, new tube. We're going to put it all back on the speeder bike over here. It just won't stand up anymore. Right? And then we're going to be back in business. But as you want to see, look, you see here, you see, we got, we got, you want to get this thing mounted up pretty tight. That's what we did. We got some significant spoke grooves here. Same because this part right here, it's this part right here. On these, this type of setup, it's the spokes that drive the wheel. It's not the hub. So you want to be, you know, pretty, pretty accurate.